And so the metabolism, I always explain it like very easy. Um, as a human being, you need food. And with that food, you get the energy uh, in order to be able to do exercises, to keep you warm, to um, have your heart uh, work working or your lungs pumping. Um, and so with that idea, I started looking into the human body. And I looked into the different topographies that we have. And so I'm going to show you some of the, the pre-research I did before making uh, a final uh, fashion tech garment. So on the left side is always the topography. So it's very clinical, very straightforward. I have some examples in this case um, um, of the bacteria that I was growing. <coughs> so these are, this is my skin bacteria and this is a bit of a larger picture. And what I wanted to do with this uh, dress, because um, I made this is the final piece, is really to show how would it actually look like if we were able to see our bacteria. And so I 3D print, uh, sorry, I digitally printed uh, our uh, a pattern of our bacteria and on a transparent organza. So if you wear this, you would have an idea of how it would look like to, uh, yeah, to wear your own bacteria. Another thing that I find very interesting is, uh, is the muscles. And the way that we develop patterns is always, we have side seams, we have shoulder seams, it's really like plain and simple. But our body is actually so much more interesting. So what happens if I start making patterns inspired by the, um, the way that our muscles are uh, going? So um, these are is a, a jacket that I made and it doesn't have straight uh, side seams, it has diagonal side seams because our um, uh, front uh, abdominal muscles are going a little bit to the back and our back muscles are going a bit to the front. We don't have uh, uh, shoulder seams. Uh, our muscles are going a bit more to the front. So with that in mind, I, uh, I started to make uh, this uh, uh, leotard, which is showing actually the, the way it would look if we make patterns based on our uh, body muscles. And for me, um, I try to bridge the link between technology and the human being. And in this case, I think uh, our human head is actually like a microcontroller in which we control the rest of our body. And so with the nerve system on the left side, I try to do uh, different, uh, um, um, I, I look into pattern design, I look into uh, 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 seams and stuff like that. And I de develop this uh, outfit, uh, which is uh, showing actually each point of our head that measures an EEG, so where our brain signals are measured, it has a little chain and it goes to the rest of our body as a, a visualization of how we control our, um, our body. And the last one that I'm going to show you is the blood circulation cape. And for me, the blood circulation is similar to electricity. Uh, with blood going through your heart, going through different kinds of lungs and coming back to your heart. Uh, with electricity, it's coming from the battery, it's going through sensors to LEDs, whatever you put in between it, and then it goes uh, back to a battery. And so I developed this cape uh, showing, it's from Red Tool, and actually it's showing like the big uh, um, veins that we have, but the more they get from out of the center of the body, the smaller the veins get, so that's what the tool is representative. And so with this, I made uh, a technology outfit, and it is called uh, um, Dynamic Skin. And actually, it's three layers um, from our metabolism uh, translated into textiles. I also have them here. So I start with the first layer, and um, that is the solar cape. And so now I've, you have the research on this side, and what I think is, uh, what I also wanted to show is actually that whenever working with technology, you need to combine uh, working with technology and designing with technology. So while testing the solar cells and different components, you also have to think about the way that, that you want to design it. And so this is uh, a cape, and the solar cells are the little pieces here. So my idea is also to make technology more organic and, and I don't think people want to look like robots. I think we want to wear normal clothes and, and have the technology not uh, visible. And so that's what I uh, try to do. You're more than welcome to have a look later. Underneath, um, so this is actually, the, the solar cape is the uh, part that you gain energy. And you can use that energy. I, I would love to have those lungs now. Um, 
Because what this uh, address is underneath, and uh, give me se 20 seconds, it has a pulse sensor on it. And so every time that my heart beats, uh, it probably will be a bit quicker than normal. Because um, <laughs> I have a very low heart rate. <laughs> um, every time my heart beats, these start to flicker. And it's showing actually that blood is going through the lungs in order to get oxygen. And after that, I don't know if it's really visible, um, there are more lights. And they show actually how blood is going from my lungs uh, through the rest of our body. So this is underneath it. And then there's a third layer, because uh, that's more like the exercise. And the third layer is keeping us warm. And whenever uh, this garment is keeping us warm, uh, this bright red pattern will appear. And it's uh, the also showing that actually we get warmed up from the inside of our body. Uh, so it's a, a digital, um, um, it's a visualization of the blood circulation.